Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a functional equation. We have x squared times f of x plus f of 1 minus x is equal to 2x and we're supposed to find f of x. So in this equation notice that we have the f twice but with different arguments. So this is what I'd like to do. I'd like to replace x with 1 minus x and that gives me 1 minus x from here. 1 minus x quantity squared multiplied by f of 1 minus x plus f of 1 minus. Now notice that if I do it here, I get 1 minus 1 minus x, which is equal to x. So this gives me f of x. And on the right hand side, I get 2 times 1 minus x, which is 2 minus 2x. Great. Now I'm going to write the second equation underneath here, and then I will use elimination. Okay, let's see how this goes. And by the way, I did not mention which x values are allowable. I didn't want to exclude anything now because I don't want to spoil the surprise because at the end, there is a surprise. Okay, let's go. So when, when I'm done with f of x, I'll tell you which x values should, should not be in the domain. Great. So what I can do is I can just copy this first one, the original equation here, x squared times f of x plus f of 1 minus x equals 2x. Now my goal is to find f of x, so why don't we just eliminate what we don't want? In this case, it will be f of 1 minus x. So I'll multiply both sides of the second equation by the opposite of this expression right here, which is the negative of 1 minus x quantity squared. And that should give me a nicer, nicer equation. So let's go ahead and multiply both sides by that and see what we get from here. We get 1 minus x quantity squared times f of 1 minus x plus f of x. I'm just copying the first one. And the second equation is going to give me negative 1 minus x quantity squared times x squared times f of x minus the quantity 1 minus x squared times f of 1 minus x. And that equals 2x. Of course, that's multiplied by that. So it's going to be negative 2x times 1 minus x quantity squared. All righty. So now when we add these two equations side by side, certain things cancel out. And of course, my goal is to find f of x. So it, it's better if this cancels out, which is f of 1 minus x. And from here, I can just go ahead and add these two expressions and take out the f of x and then so, uh, add these two expressions here and get my expression in the simplest form. OK, so let's go ahead and do that on the next page. So I'm getting f of x minus x squared times 1 minus x quantity squared times f of x equals, and from here I should be getting something like 2 minus 2x minus 2x times the quantity 1 minus x quantity squared, which is going to look like this. 2 minus 2x minus 2x times the quantity 1 minus x squared. So here we can just take out f of x, and if you do, we get 1 minus x squared times the quantity 1 minus x squared, divided by, well, we're going to divide it by that at the end. And what I can, one of the things I can do here is I can basically factor out a 2 here. And if I do, actually not, a, not just a 2, but 2 times quantity 1 minus x, because that's a common factor. And then I should be getting 1 minus, since I take out the 2 and 1 of the 1 minus x's, I get x times 1 minus x from here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and factor this expression, but let me go ahead and do that in the next step. So this expression is kind of factored form, 2 times the quantity 1 minus x. And this we can write as 1 minus x plus x squared divided by... Now, this is a difference of two squares. Notice that. So I can write it as 1 minus x times 1 minus x multiplied by 1 plus x times 1 minus x. Let me explain what I did here real quick because I was kind of fast maybe. So I took this expression because it's a difference of 2 squared. I factored it using a squared minus b squared. Of course, I'm dividing both sides by that to get f of x by itself. So it just factored as difference of 2 squares right here. Okay. Now notice that I'm getting what I have in the numerator, this expression here as well, because this is 1 minus x plus x squared. That's also 1 minus x plus x squared. So I can just go ahead and cancel those out. But what if they're equal to 0, right? That should bring some problems. But uh, fortunately, not unfortunately, 
that expression can never equal zero. Why? Because x squared minus x plus one is a quadratic with a negative delta, which is discriminant, so it's never gonna be zero, which means I can safely cancel out the terms. And I end up with much uh, something much simpler. Let's go ahead and write that down. So from here, f of x is gonna equal, and if I go ahead and distribute this, I should be getting something like two minus two x from the numerator, and the denominator is gonna be one plus x minus x squared. So that's going to be my expression basically. I mean, if you wanted to simplify this a little bit, like a tiny bit, if you want, if you're really picky about uh, writing it in standard form, you can just go ahead and write it this way, two x minus two by negating the top and the bottom, you should be getting something a little nicer, x squared minus x minus one. You probably wanna do this because we wanna look at the expression in the denominator. Well, now why do we wanna look at that? because that's a quadratic, uh, which can be zero. So what we need to do now is basically take this expression and you know, uh, find out which x values are gonna make the denominator zero because we have to exclude those, right? And if you go ahead and find those values, you're gonna find something interesting here. So this problem has a golden flavor to it as well. Why? You're gonna see in a little bit. If you go ahead and solve this equation, x squared minus x minus one equals zero, because you don't want that to be zero, but we wanna know which x values we are going to exclude. So from here, you basically get that x should not equal, x should not equal one minus root five over two, or x should not equal one plus root five over two. And what should that remind you? The golden ratio, right? Hopefully that does make sense. And this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Please let me know what you think. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video, which is gonna be an awesome problem. So see you tomorrow. Until then, be safe, take care, and... Bye-bye.